These are the stories of the drive and determination it takes to excel in the toughest sport in the world. This is USA Gymnastics Behind the Team, presented by AT&T. Having a training camp here at uh, University of Oklahoma is pretty awesome. It was always exciting to go to the OTC, but you know we go there a lot, so it's kind of nice for a little bit of a change. This is our first camp at Oklahoma, so hopefully, hopefully not the last one. Uh, having a national team camp here versus the Olympic Training Center, in my opinion, is something that is kind of a high honor because they don't do it very often. It's definitely a little weird being back at where I went to college for the past five years. It's the gym I trained in, but not really, because they upgraded it. It's kind of a brand new facility. You know, this brand new facility is pretty sick. We got everything we could ever imagine. I don't know what it is, but when you're at a university, you kind of just feel like you're at home. And it also helps because all these guys are like my really good friends. So you just feel like you're hanging out with your friends and you're doing what you love. Well, this camp is definitely much smaller than typical. And the reason is just because there's so many guys that are right in the heat of the end of their school semesters and their season. A small group is basically Oklahoma guys, and then, you know, like we got like three other guys CJ Maestas, John Roscoe, and Danelle Ava. I always hear about senior national team camps and how it's so intense, and like when I go, it's like, man, I'm, I'm part of this group now. This is the elite, the elite group. I'm really motivated to train. It's just, you know, it's really fun, positive energy. It's nice to be able to hear, train here every day and have camps here, so it's pretty exciting. As far as balancing, you know, school, gymnastics, college competition, stuff like that, coaches work with us, teachers work with us, advisors work with us, you know, they, they know we're pretty busy. It gets pretty stressful at certain points of the year. I kind of look at it as in like John Horton, who went here to school, did both collegiate and USA Gymnastics and majored in business. So, you know, people can do it. You just got to stay organized. Like Jake and I just went to our history class and I went to my micro class and then right from there we just come to gym and just act like we just woke up kind of thing and try and get in that mindset and be like, okay, school works then. When we're in the gym, we're in the gym. Juggling all these things at one time, you really gotta just decide what's your number one priority and, and move about your life in that way. The next two big goals, definitely wanna be a, a top, you know, three, five at visas. And then the next one is definitely to go, you know, make the world team. I would just say that right now, uh, my main focus is being 100% for visas on uh, trying to make another statement there and get back on the world team and keep pushing towards the Olympics. Focus right now for me is stay in routine shape and do well at our conference meet and NCAAs. Planning on doing all around that at the NCAAs and after that point I'm going to just get prepared for you know what's to come which is visas and worlds. Because of the tragedy in Japan that everybody's really, you know, praying for and everything right now, we're not sure about the Japan Cup. We're not even really sure about World Championships, but, um, you know, those are my next big focuses, if they do happen. We're having a lot of international success right now, and I think it really shows the kind of work that we're putting in behind the scenes. You know, I just recently did get back from Germany. Uh, it was the Coppers competition. It was, a, it was my first senior competition, so it was amazing. It was a different, very, very different experience. Uh, be next to guys like Yuri Van Gelder and uh, big guys like that that I see on YouTube and stuff. Those are like my idols. For us to go out to the meets like the Coppers in Germany and American Cup and, uh, you know, the Paris Bercy that Danilo Leva just went to and to bring home medals at every single competition, it's, it's huge. It's good, you know, it's good doing international meets early because um, it gives you more of a feel of how everybody's doing. Day in and day out, work hard in the gym and it's gonna show in the competition. We're pushing the world right now and they're having to work hard. We're working really hard and it's exciting to see the kind of success that we're having because we've never had this much success in the past. And um, I think we're just gonna keep having it. We're gonna keep it rolling, it's gonna snowball.